Now that you've learned how to load tracks using Track to Control S4, let's see how to mix in a second track. If you don't already have the track Tech House 2 from the S4 demo content loaded to Deck A, do so now using the left load button. Once you already use the browse encoder to find another track in this playlist, it may help to select a track with a similar BPM. So select the track Tech House 1 for the purpose of this tutorial. Press the load button on the right deck to load the track into deck B. If you press the right play button for Tech House 1, it will immediately start playing. Now we don't hear anything from deck B yet because we have the crossfade on the S4 all the way to the left. Because we are going to slowly mix in the track in deck B. Before mixing it in, you might want to use Tractor's automatic sync feature to adjust the tempo to that of deck A. To do this, all you have to do is press the sync button on the right deck. Note that you should always adjust the tempo of the track that is not audible to the audience. Slowly move the crossfader from deck A to deck B and you will hear the second track come into the mix in sync with deck A. You probably want to have more control over the particular part of the track that you mix in. You can use the jog wheel to seek through the track before bringing it in. With Tractor, it's also easy to set a cue point. Whether or not the track is playing, simply press one of the unlit hot cue buttons. You've just stored a cue point that you can return to simply by pressing the same button again. If snap mode is on, which is by default, you don't have to worry about dropping a cue point directly on a beat. Tractor will make sure this happens automatically. If you would like to cue your mix and headphones before bringing it in, plug in a pair of phones to the headphone output in the front panel of the S4. To hear a track in the headphones, press the Q button just above the corresponding channel fader. You can adjust the Q level to taste by using the Q volume knob on the front panel. You can adjust the balance between the Q track and the main mix by using the Q mix knob. Now would be a great time to addition some of Tractor's EQs and filters. Just turn the corresponding knobs on the desired channel to hear the effect on the track. Tractor's EQ and filters are excellent tools to make adjustments to the tracks before mixing them in, to make the smoothest transition possible. The most common technique is to filter out the baseline of the incoming track. Before bringing in the second track, filter out the baseline using the lower EQ knob on deck B. When you're ready, gently mix in the second track. Note that you can also directly control the track's phase using the outer rim of the jog wheel. Just move the rim in the desired direction to adjust the phase. You can use this method to correct minor offsets. You can also do your beat matching manually instead of using Tractor Sync function. With the track and deck B still playing, load a new track into deck A. Press the Q button above deck A's channel fader to hear the track in the headphone mix. Make sure the sync button for deck A is off and adjust the tempo fader until the track's BPM either sounds right or directly matches the value of the other track's displayed BPM. If the track in deck A is the same tempo as the track in deck B but is out of phase, use the outer rim of the jog wheel to adjust it until they are in phase. When you're ready, you can bring the crossfader over from deck B and slowly mix in the track in deck A. In the next video, we look at some advanced queuing and looping features.